Dealing with separate headphones for virtual reality is not a pleasant experience. In the exhibition settings, I have observed that many people don't want to bother with them, and even I have tried many VR experiences without the sound because of that. Since there is no commercial solution for more convenient audio for Windows Mixed Reality headsets, my weekend project was to make a semi-permanently attached headphones that anyone could build and further improve upon. I will add files for home 3D printing or a place to order. The original idea was something like this, so that you can use any 40mm audio driver, but then you'd also have to buy wires, audio plugs, foams, etc. and solder everything. Then I started looking for good headphones that we could use for the project and found these broken Sony monitor headphones. These are good and popular, so many of you probably have them. And if not, you can purchase them new for less than $25. The wire inside was broken, so in the same effort I have soldered it and shortened the cable. If you also want a microphone, get this $3 cable that has an additional contact for the microphone. This is an AV cable for an old camcorder, but the video out contact is the same one as for the microphone, so you can solder any microphone you want. I have reverse engineered the clamp that holds the speaker. It looks different now because printer resin is softer and additional support was needed for the good tension. In the original setup, the clamp would hold the speaker like this, but then we would have the cable dangling. So I have adjusted it so we can mount it upside down and the cable goes directly up. Now we need something that would attach it on the headset. An easy solution would be to drill through the rigid headband and attach it there, but I wanted something non-damaging for the, for the headset. So I came up with this clamp. There were several iterations with just a simple clamp, but after several tests it was obvious that it needs locking mechanism. I tried making a flap that would click into place, but it was too small to be functionally printed on home 3D printers. I have also tried a cross-beam system borrowed from Japanese furniture design, but it was still not good enough for printing on this size. This is the latest iteration that works well. Since the biggest problem was the fusion of the slits, I have designed it in an open state, so it should print without adjusting the tolerances for other 3D printers. Once it is on the headset, we can use 8mm piece of paperclip wire for our locking mechanism. Now the last piece of the puzzle was how to connect these two, and it was inspired by a puzzle. Since I didn't want to have any screws in the design or to use glue, I came up with this puzzle tooth system. The shaft has a tooth in form of reverse trapezoid, and the cap has a compatible opening. We can only slide it from the side, and it cannot be pulled up. To connect these two clamps, first we push the shaft through, then we slide the cap in, and pull this back up. This part locks the cap from further sliding, and cap prevents the part from moving up. I can clamp in the speaker now. On the top clamp you can also see this channel in the design. This is for the cable management. Now I can clamp it over the head loop. Lock it with the paper clip and then I can cut the rest of the paper clip. I can always push the wire out with another one. The speaker can still rotate around two axes to adjust to the angle of your ears and you can slide it on the headband if needed. If I need to use earbuds, I can still rotate this 180 degrees out of the way instead of removing everything. I have added the second speaker and completed the headset. And now it looks like this. There is a bit of an issue with cable management on the back, but we can think about it later. The clamp works with Acer, which is, I believe, the most popular Windows Mixed Reality headset because it is the lightest and was the first one released. If you have a different one, measure your headband with a caliper. If it is also 25mm by 2.2mm, it will fit perfectly. If not, let's work together to adjust the clamp size for your headset. Since you have a Windows Mixed Reality headset, you may also be interested in this adapter I made for prescription lenses so I don't have to wear eyeglasses with the headset. 
You order eyeglasses for $10, take the lenses out and put them into the adapter. Now this can be easily installed onto the headset. This one should work with all mixed reality headset except Samsung and more detailed video about that is in the description. So that's all, $25 headphones plus 16 milliliter of resin, which is less than $2 to print. Let me know if you make one. Cheers.